Hello, Tatiana. So I'm very glad to see you. And, you know, I'm a type, type of psycho, you know. A psycho is somebody who can see through people. Uh, in other words, um, to some extent, I'm a mind reader, which means that when I'm looking at somebody, I can guess what the person is thinking about. And now I'm looking at you and you know what I'm what I'm seeing about you. I can see that uh, you are not thinking about the examination. You're thinking about your daughter who's mm. about to take uh, uh, a chemistry entrance examination. And also you are thinking about um, your son um, who uh, goes to school daily and who is slightly behind mathematics. And mm -hmm. you are thinking about your offspring. Uh, mm -hmm. Am I right saying that? I would say that uh, I think both my kids and my um, uh, examination. Oh, really? You want to say that you yeah. are thinking about your offspring's uh, education and your own examination equally? Okay. okay. Yeah. Tanya, uh, my first question isn't um, related to um, the examination itself, okay? Um, mm -hmm. But it's somehow about the examination anyway. Tell me, please, um, in psychological terms, are you ready to, to take the examination? Psychologically, uh, I suppose yes, uh, because recently um, we have uh, uh, completed uh, several uh, types of my English exam. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, listening, writing, reading. Okay. And there, there is only one left. Actually, two. Uh, Actually, two. Ah, uh, two. Yes, you have forgotten to mention Speaking the and... writing module. Uh, oh, what a pity! <laughs> oh my god! Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I want to see that. Um, it's too early for you uh, to see uh, the things like this. That, oh, I'm nearly done with the examination. No, not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a very good... Um, English uh, idiom. Oh, mm -hmm. Let me remember it. You haven't come out of the wood yet, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so Tanusha, uh, so this uh, the meaning of these idioms is, is that uh, the problem um, isn't over yet. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. As the Uzbek people say, Halabar. I know that you are crazy about yeah. Uzbek, and uh, whenever you've got free time, you try to pick up this language uh, too. Um, yeah, mm. and uh, in your family, whenever you are angry, uh, you start speaking Uzbek or Karkalpak uh, with your family members <clears throat> for some reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Tanusha, ready? Yeah. Okay. Hold on a sec, please. Danusha, uh, I just want to, I want to say that whenever um, whenever I'm talking to you, I feel like uh, addressing you this way, Tanushinka Adishinka. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. So um, let's get, get down to the official part of the examination. Uh, what's your name? How should I call you? <laughs> My name is Tanushinka Dushinka. Uh, Tatiana. Ta Tatiana. You've got so many yeah. names, Tanushinka, Dushinka on the one hand, and Tatiana on the other hand. So how many first names have you got? Only one. Uh, only one, okay. And uh, how should I call you? Tanushinka, Dushinka or Tanya? It doesn't matter. Oh, uh, really? So you want to say yeah. you don't You don't care to things how I should call you? Okay. So I can call you me too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And how do you spell your name, Tanya? Mm, T A N Y. T A N Y. So I should call you Tan Tanai. Yes, Tanai. 
because the last letter of your first name is Y. T no, T N uh, T A N Y A. Ah, Sorry. A. Okay. <laughs> now I've got it. That your first name isn't Tanai, but Tanya. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. I've got it. Uh, so, how are you today? How are you, Tanisha? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Really? But, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. So you're saying but that you're fine. Ah, you are a bit nervous. And yes, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit, a little bit because of... Um, uh, mm, because of what? About, uh, I'm nervous about an upcoming examination. Actually, it's it's already uh, it's already come. <laughs> oh, you could have said like this, um, maybe a few days ago. Oh, I'm so worried about the upcoming examination. But you are taking the examination. Uh, it has already started. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you uh, do you remember uh, an idiom uh, with the same uh, lexical meaning? Whenever somebody is nervous. And so can you remember um, any idiom? Rub the wrong way. No. Absolutely. No? That means irritate. What a pity, Tanya, uh, because I remember giving you this idiom. It uh, So it is like this, to be on pins and needles. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. So right now you're on pins and needles because you are taking um, an, exam, an exam. Okay. So, Tanya, um, I know that normally uh, uh, males uh, shouldn't ask the question I'm going to ask you. Um, they shouldn't uh, ask uh, women about it. But uh, mm -hmm. anyway, how old are you, Tanisha? Remember, I don't need to know the truth. You can say that you are just 15 or 50. <laughs> no, you know that recently uh, I had a birthday and uh, now I am 39. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but you you look uh, pretty good, you know. You look pretty Thank good. Thank you. Okay, uh, Tanya, what's your job? What do you do? Um, I am an uh, office worker. I uh, work for a foreign company. Um, my position is a medical is a medical advisor. Mm hmm. Okay. In other words, uh, people uh, turn to you for a word of advice. You mean this? Mm, yes. <laughs> and do you like the job? Do you like the job you do? Yes. Yes, of course. I like my job. Um, you, you know that uh, uh, I uh, graduated from the medical university and unfortunately I don't work uh, for my direct profession but uh, current uh, speciality is directly connected to medicine uh, for this reason i like my job mm -hmm. because i communicate every day with uh, uh, doctors um, i every day uh, read some uh, Articles, mm -mm. maybe articles. Articles, yes, dedicated to some uh, medical problems, etc. Mm -hmm. So I like my job. Okay, and what's your specialty uh, in medicine? What is it? <clears throat> I'm a cardiologist. Oh my god, that sounds yeah. serious. That sounds serious. Okay, let's proceed to uh, some more. I would say appropriate things to talk about uh, today. So, Tanyushinka Dushinka, are you married? Yes. Oh my God. What I'm a married, pity. You know, what a pity. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. I'm a lucky woman because I'm married you and I to... have. Uh, uh -huh. And I'm. Uh, I. Uh, I'm a lucky person because uh, I have a good spouse, family partner, mm -hmm. 
who always uh, supports me in any difficult questions, in any difficult situations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm writing down some comments on your answers. That's why sometimes mm -hmm. uh, I, mm, it takes me some time uh, to to do this. Okay, I've got it. So you are a happily, uh, you are a, ha uh, a happily married woman. Yes. Yeah. Who enjoys living with a good husband? Okay, what a pity to hear that. Because frankly speaking, um, I was hoping to hear something different about you. Okay, okay. So Tanyushinka, tell me please. And when is your birthday? You just mentioned that you recently had a birthday. So when exactly is it? Um in January, the tenth. Mm -hmm. In January, the tenth you said. Okay, maybe on January the 10th, you should be sad. Okay, thank you, Tanushinka. And how do you usually uh, spend this day? What do you do on your birthday? Mm, uh, frankly speaking, I am a very sociable person by nature. Uh, I mean that uh, I love uh, to communicate with people mm -hmm. and for this reason, um, uh, on my birthday, um, I'm trying to spend with my um, family members, with my friends and colleagues, to have a ball together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in a cafe or restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in this case, I want to ask you a provocative question. Can I? Yeah. You said, you've just said that uh, on your birthday, you try to spend uh, to spend the time with uh, close people, right? People who you consider uh, the nearest, mm, the nearest to you, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, your friends, your family members, etc. But why haven't you ever invited me to your place? On <laughs> Because, because usually, usually, you tell me, oh, George, you are so great. You are one of the best friends of mine. Um, I can't imagine my life without you, without our lessons, etc., etc. And now you're telling me, uh, oh, you know, I like to spend the time with uh, the closest people. And now, of mm. course, I, of course, uh, somewhere deep inside, I'm asking myself, okay, if she's saying such things about your nearest occupation, why she hasn't ever invited me to her place on her birthday. Yeah. How, what would you, uh, yes. reply to my this question? is a very, this is a very provocative question for me. Uh, oh, really? Because, uh, really? Yes. Okay. Uh, because, um, uh, I, I think, uh, the main reason is the following, um, you may remember my telling you that we are in the habit of drinking some uh, alcohol beverage. Uh, and I know about you that you are not into drinking these uh, kinds of uh, beverage. Uh, I think uh, it would be bad idea to invite you to my birthday because uh, it's not convenient for you uh-huh okay i've got it okay it, it's a good attempt uh, uh, to uh to make uh, an explanation a, a quick explanation mm -hmm. one second please mm -hmm. it wouldn't be Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, um, let's proceed to some uh, more personal questions, okay? Tanyushinka, Dushinka, my dear student, tell me please, what's your favorite color and why? Um, I would say that I have got uh, at least two of my favorite colors. Uh, the first one is green. Uh, oh, I know why. I, I know why. <laughs> <laughs> why? Are you stupid uh, asking me the question why? 
Green. No, I. George. Ah. Oh, yes. <laughs> no. Yes, because uh, I find this color um, very beautiful uh, because I associate this color with uh, kindness, with the calmness, uh, with uh, tenderness. And uh, intellect. And intellect. Yes, and yes. intellect. Because and, George uh, Green and is uh, is George Green. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I really like the delicate green uh, color of green leaves, uh, which have barely a period uh, on the trees uh, in spring, especially. And because this color usually motivates me, inspired me, inspires mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. um, the second one is uh, purple, and I don't know the main reason why I like it, but uh, it's very beautiful for me. But uh, frankly speaking, uh, depends on my mood. Mm, today I may like one color and tomorrow another. Because you're but, a woman. Yes, because I'm a woman. and uh, But uh, definitely my favorites are green and purple. Okay, I've got it. Thank you. My, so, my next question, okay? Uh, I know that you are uh, fond of sports. I know that mm. because uh, the day before, uh, yeah, um, perhaps last week I uh, talked to one of your daughters and she told me that you are into um, playing sports. So, what's your favorite uh, sport and why? Uh, I wouldn't say... Uh sports uh, but uh, maybe some uh, sport activities uh, frankly speaking you know like that jumping, I'm like jumping on the sofa <laughs> no 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 uh, you know that uh, I'm as busy as a bee having a lot on my plate and unfortunately for this reason I don't have enough time to spend on my favorite sport activity but uh, whenever I have a chance, uh, I usually uh, go to the gym, uh, I mean to the yoga. And uh, I can say that the yoga, uh, that yoga is my favorite sport activities. And uh, you know that last year I was lucky to purchase a ticket at a discount to sport club. Uh, and uh, there, there are several kind of sport activity there but my favorite one is yoga because uh, it um, it uh, changes my mind uh, it, uh, it helps me to relax completely not thinking about anything uh, moreover I like very my trainer she's Marina and she's known to practice yoga very well mm. Because she wants me, she wants us, all group, I mean, uh, to feel our body differently. So I must admit, if I hadn't purchased uh, this ticket then, I wouldn't be so ener energetic now. Mm -hmm. Mixed condition. Wow. Okay. So... I've got it. <clears throat> I've got it. Frankly speaking, somewhere, uh, somewhere different side. I thought that your favorite um, sport activity is to uh, sit on the sofa uh, watching uh, TV. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, tell me, please. Um, are you good at cooking, Tanushinka? Oh, <laughs> this is also a provocative question for me and difficult question for me because uh, I must admit that I'm I'm good at cooking uh, different dishes meals but uh, frankly speaking due to lack of uh, free time uh, I cannot uh, spend a lot of time in the in the kitchen but uh, because uh, after uh, on coming back from exhausting exhausting working days, I'm uh, usually so done up that uh, I'm unable to spend uh, 
my free time in the kitchen, cooking some dishes for my family members. But uh, when I'm rested, for instance, uh, I do this with great pleasure. And uh, frankly speaking, I I'm good at cooking uh, because mm -hmm. uh, my you know that my relatives in law in 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 law yes my husband maybe my in mother love? maybe in love <laughs> it, it, no in law yes they uh, give me uh, feedback about my um, cooking skills like what for good example? cooking skills. Feel, Tanya, you could have cooked much better. What the shit did you give us? <laughs> no. no, no, no. I told you that uh, whenever uh, my relatives in law uh, came us, they always ask me to maybe come to us. Cook. Oh yes, come to us. They always ask me to cook borscht. Um, my borscht. Borscht, for example. Uh, Pirog, maybe pies, uh, pies with uh, mm, with snake uh, with, meat. No hen. Ah, okay. So, mm -hmm. I got it. I got it. But I know that uh, for some reason I don't know why. Actually, I I know why, but uh, maybe you don't want uh, our listeners to be aware of this fact. But you've got a very a great assistant in the kitchen and the assistant's name is Tatiana Ivanovna <laughs> and whenever you are busy yeah. making a lot of money at work she is uh, doing her best in the kitchen. Could you tell me a few words? Could you tell us a few words about Tatiana Ivanovna and uh, tell mm -hmm. us in detail what exactly she does in the kitchen, Tanushinka? Come on! <laughs> Uh, Tatiana Ivanovna is my mother, you know, about this. Oh, and, no, uh, she isn't your mother. You have... Uh, uh, <laughs> no, she isn't your mother. You have yes, taken her uh, up uh, uh, so that she gives you a helping hand in the kitchen, nothing more than that. She comes no. to your place uh, to cook something and then she goes back to her native town, which is Krasnogorsk or Krasno something. Yes, yes. No, unfortunately, or... Oh, Yes, unfortunately for my spouse, uh, <laughs> Tatiana Ivanovna isn't good at cooking at all, frankly oh. speaking. Oh, oh. Yes. And um, I don't know why, uh, because uh, in my childhood, uh, she used to cook a lot. I remember this uh, fact. But now she... Um, she... Uh, she absolutely uh, does anything in the kitchen. Uh, me, I, I, I'm not. I, I'm afraid I haven't got to you. Mm -hmm. I don't she what? Uh, she uh, does nothing in the kitchen. Ah, okay. But how do you pronounce the word kuchnia? Kitchen. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I guess um, there is um, a special psychological connection between uh, Tatiana Ivanovna and uh, your son-in-law, and to some extent, <laughs> to some extent, I would I would say that uh, to her, uh, he mm -hmm. he isn't uh, a son-in-law, but a, a son-in-love, I guess. Hmm. Okay, okay. So anyway, um, she sometimes now and then she gives you a helping hand in the kitchen, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, it it ha it happens from time to time. Yes, yeah. okay. but usually she only wants me and my kids to cook uh, different meals properly and uh -huh. quickly. Uh -huh. Maybe so... uh, she is a super boss in the kitchen, and she just con yes. she wants to control everything. So that yes. everything is done correctly according to the recipe. I think <laughs> yes. it's a good thing to do. You you have got somebody in the kitchen who controls all the things uh, which are supposed to be done correctly according to the recipes. Yes. Okay. She usually orders and uh, controls. Oh, it's us. a good thing to have such a person in the kitchen, I guess. Mm -hmm. at, at least uh, when you're back home and when you... 
uh, calmly uh, come into the kitchen, uh, you see that you are not alone, that there is uh, a boss sitting at the kitchen table looking down on you. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> have you come? Have you finally come? Come on, wash your hands, stand and faster. Yes, and move your uh, move your ass faster. And come on, get down to your cook to the cooking. Come on. I guess that yeah. if you have got if you've got such a boss in the kitchen, so that motivates you to work harder after another exhausting, as you said, working day. It's great. I guess it's great. So my best regards to Tatiana Ivanovna. She has become a superstar in YouTube, I guess. Okay, thank you. Uh, Tanushinka, I also know that uh, you are crazy about traveling, right? That whenever you've got um, an opportunity, uh, you never miss it to visit another city or another country. Am I right saying that? Yes, you are that right. Uh, I'm into traveling a lot, but uh, unfortunately, uh, I haven't traveled a lot uh, due to financial reasons. But uh, oh, we, come on, come on. yeah, yeah, you it's true. And financial uh, troubles, it's not uh, because uh, there are several priorities um, for like every what? people. For every, for, uh, like, for example, like your uh, son uh, uh, playing chess. No, no, uh, I mean, uh, that. Uh, you may remember my telling you that recently we have uh, bought uh, a new flat mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and for this reason now you're trying to make us believe that uh, you are quite poor, uh, quite poor people <laughs> not uh, not poor but uh, this is a fact that uh, i i haven't i i haven't traveled a lot recently generally Speaking. recently yeah. <laughs> but, but uh, usually you do travel a lot usually uh okay yes oh come on don't but, say uh, okay. everybody uh, living around knows that uh, you are a great traveler okay tell me please mm, what's your favorite uh city to visit and why maybe it's uh, maybe it's al malik maybe it's uh um, no basuki uh Visoli Vasuki. No? No, I, I can give you uh one example about my traveling. Uh Indeed. it was last year. Okay. Uh yes, we were lucky to visit Egypt. Egypt or Egypt? Uh, Egypt, yes. And uh I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, uh I wonder if you heard that um last year uh the english uh uh started to um if i'm if i'm not mistaken yes it was last year when uh the english started to call the country not egypt but Mr. and now officially Mr. and now officially on the papers they are uh, um whenever they address to uh, official official Egyptian officials, uh, they call uh, the country not as Egypt but Mister. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, it's true, mm -hmm. Mister. Okay, and it was unforgettable trip trip uh, because uh, there were several reasons for this. Uh, uh, why we were over the moon? Mm -hmm. uh, firstly. Uh, it was the first uh, trip uh, to such a beautiful place with my family together, with my all three kids. Uh, oh my secondly, oh my how can you see that? Yes. It was okay because of your kids. It was unforgettable. I understand it, but I can't. <laughs> I can't get over why you're saying that. Um, it was a, a fantastic trip. Whenever yes. you are overloaded with uh, three kids. The trip mm -hmm. cannot itself cannot be fantastic. No, I don't agree with you. No, really? Okay. Yes. Uh, and and secondly, reason is um, second those reason. emotions. Uh, second reason is, is uh, the following um, 
those emotions, so feelings and um, impressions from uh, the sea, Red Sea and uh, fish, uh, they were uh, indescribable and they remained in my memory forever. And uh, generally speaking, uh, traveling with my family, this is uh, um, amazing experience in my life, uh, amazing uh, feelings in my life. So mm -hmm. I like to travel a lot. And if I had an opportunity to travel more often, I wouldn't miss this chance, definitely. Uh, uh, miss this chance to do what? To, to travel a lot. Yes. My question wasn't about this. My question was uh, about your favorite uh, city uh, to visit. Uh, I may say that uh, I may conclude that my favorite country is Egypt. What about the city? My favorite city, not country, but city. Uh... <laughs> oh my God. Uh... Oh my God. I'm, <laughs> I'm very bad at geography. What are the cities yeah, located yes. in, in Mr. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm. Maybe. Frankly speaking, maybe I don't Rome. Know. Maybe Rome. Maybe. Uh, I, ha I have. I have never been to Rome. No. No. But, uh, these are the typical Egyptian uh, towns: Rome, mm. Ivanovo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Thank you, Tanushinka. Thank you. Maybe Harguda. Okay. So, uh. My next question, Tanusha, um, whenever you are feeling blue, whenever you are feeling blue, are you in the habit of listening to music? Does it help you to sort out uh, your current uh, problems? And uh, or if it is, um, what's mm. your favorite type of music? <clears throat> mm. I must admit that uh, I'm not crazy about listening to music, but uh, while driving somewhere, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I may listen to music. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would like highlight uh, maybe Papsa. I Pops don't know Pops in English. Pops? Yeah. Papsa, yeah. because maybe I prefer pop to listen. Music. Pop music, yes. <laughs> Pop, pop music uh, um, the, and I prefer to listen to such singers as Dima Bilan, Ani Lorak, Vladimir Presnikov, etc. Oh, oh my god, yeah, you are <laughs> yes. you are listening, uh, the names I have never heard about, okay. So I guess that these three Real? you've just mentioned are your favorite uh, singers? Not my favorite, but I would highlight them. Why? What is uh, special about the mm. three singers you have just mentioned? Oh, for instance, uh, oh, I, I, I like it. As for... new, new, I I would like to say new. I would like to say. Uh, no, as for Vladimir Presnikov, for instance, uh, I like uh, the way he sings. I like uh, his songs. As... Like this, yes. Uh, this is the way he usually. Yeah, I don't know, but I like. Uh -huh. um, especially when he uh, sings uh, in a duet with his wife Natalia Podolskaya. Uh -huh. As for uh, Ani Laura, she she has got a strong voice. Moreover, she is a beautiful woman. Wow. And, uh, is she sexy? Besides, yes. Yes, she's a sexy woman. And uh, also, she... I'm sorry um, to, to yeah, interrupt you. No, I'm sorry she... to interrupt you. You know, uh, it's so seldom uh, when uh, somebody can hear uh, a woman uh, telling another, giving a compliment to another woman. Oh, my God. Because usually, yes, it's uh, true. usually females hate each other. And one mm -hmm. would never say yeah. that another one is uh, sexy and mm, gorgeous. So it's not see, about me. Yeah, that... looking at her, I adore her, because uh, besides uh -huh. uh, uh, her songs uh, contain meaning, uh, which distinguishes her from 
to um, a lot today's uh, singers. And uh, frankly speaking, I have never been to her concert. And if I had such a brilliant opportunity, um, I would use it definitely. Mm -hmm. When the examination is over, I will tell you a couple of words about the singer who you are so crazy mm -hmm. about. And perhaps after uh, this information, your attitude to the singer may change at least a bit. Okay, thank you. So my next question, Tanyushinka, what is your favorite day of the week and why? Uh, my favorite day of the week uh, uh, is uh, Saturday and Sunday days. Uh, uh, Saturday, case, yes. In this case, your favorite uh, weeks of the day uh, of the week are but not is yes 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 my favorite days uh, of the week are, are sunday and saturdays because uh, usually uh, uh, i'm uh... so i'm sorry uh we have been disconnected so tanisha tanisha uh, my question was uh, like this so what's your favorite uh, day of the week and why yes my favorite days uh, of the week are, are sunday and saturday uh, why? Because these days uh, I usually uh, I'm usually in, uh, and I have a brilliant opportunity to spend this time with my kids, because you know that, uh, as I mentioned above, I am as busy as a bee, and I don't have enough time to spend with them properly. And uh, uh, on Sunday and Saturdays uh, mm, I can, and usually. Uh, we go outside these days uh, to have a ball, uh, to fun uh, together. Uh, for example, to to the botanical garden, to parks, uh, to playgrounds, and uh, uh, to a cafe. Uh, we like um, to go swimming for instance uh, take a picnic uh, play tennis together mm -hmm. and uh, my family members really wants me uh, want me to spend uh, my free time more often with them so um, I appreciate it, and if I, uh, whenever I have this chance, uh, I use it. Okay, okay. So, Tanisha, uh, all these questions have been um, uh, pleasant to some extent to answer and to talk about. And now I'm going to, uh, I have prepared some questions uh, which require, I would say, harder answers, harsher answers. Mm -hmm. Ready to answer such questions, Tanisha? Yeah. The thing is that uh, recently I got uh, a response from one of your colleagues. Uh, currently, uh, she isn't in Uzbekistan. She uh, she is trying to find her happiness in uh, another country, in an overseas country, uh, mm -hmm. which is located next to Canada. It's located between Canada and Mexico. <clears throat> Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the country, by the way, which is located between Canada and Mexico? What is it? I don't know exactly, but uh, I know uh, she's uh, in uh, California now. Tanu Tanusha, um, I'm not asking you about the person. Um, uh, ah. se mm -hmm. I'm asking you about uh, the country. What is the country between uh, Canada and Mexico? Mexico. America? America is a continent. There are two Americas, uh, mm. North America and North. South America. So, uh, and what North is America. It? It's a continent, Tanusha. What about okay. the name of the official name of the country between Canada and Mexico? Oh my God. Are you so bad at geography? Yeah. Actually, uh, it's known as the United States of America. <laughs> oh my God. 
Yeah, and uh, you've managed to guess it, uh, to guess the, the person. So uh, it's uh, the one who's got, uh, I would say, uh, how would you want to uh, would describe your appearance uh, more accurately? Um, she's the one who's got uh, amazing lips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I guess you have got uh, who I'm talking about. So, mm -hmm. and she says that uh, sometimes um, uh, you, you come to work um, moody. Uh, you don't feel like uh, integrating into common work, which is supposed to be done by the whole team. Uh, you show the finger to anybody around you whenever they ask you for help. They, you, say, you show the finger saying, fuck off, fuck off me. Don't ask me for any help. I'm busy mm -hmm. with my own work, etc. She says that um, you are in the nasty habit of uh, doing such things at work. Not every day, she says. Sometimes you are a very kind um uh team per uh, team element so and uh, you are ready to give a helping hand to somebody who needs your help but it mm -hmm. doesn't uh happen often so mm -hmm. how how would you comment uh on this danusha i don't agree absolutely with your opinion about me because uh, <laughs> yes as i mentioned above uh uh, I am a sociable person by nature. I'm very uh, a communicative person, and uh, I like people. Uh, and whenever at distance, yes, at distance. Uh, sometimes. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I must admit that uh, it's impossible to get on well with somebody. It's fact. But uh, if you talk about my team, uh, it's quite. Uh, good because most of my colleagues are very um, kind and uh, open and hardworking people uh, yes i must admit that uh, there are some uh, people uh, um, mm -hmm. come on, whom come on. i don't like maybe um, and wow, for this reason really <laughs> Yes, and could you I'm tell trying... us? If, could you tell us uh, their names and why you don't no. like them? No, it, it doesn't matter. I think, but uh, <laughs> you're a coward. I think <laughs> yes, uh, and for this reason, I'm trying to not to have uh, a close relationship with them to avoid any problems at work. But uh, generally speaking, I'm very. Uh, I'm a very open and uh, kind uh, worker, I suppose. Colleague, not worker, colleague. Colleague, yes, yes. But and this, whenever, uh -huh. uh, if somebody uh, asks me uh, help. For help. Um, yes, for help, uh, I always... Uh, uh, try to give a helping hand from my side. I guess that at this case, you could have used um, the phrase of turn down. Whenever anybody mm. asks me for help, I never turn them down. Okay, okay. Uh, she also uh, says that whenever all of you um, leave the office to have um, lunch, uh, mm -hmm. Most of you go to the nearest cafe to have it, to have the meals, and you sit separately from the others. You are the only one occupying one uh, uh, table, uh, and you prefer to have lunch uh, uh, alone, whereas all the other colleagues of yours are sitting uh, somewhere around, but not next to you. How would you comment on this, Tanusha? No, it's absolutely false uh, about me. Uh, yeah, uh, because uh, uh, usually uh, we go out uh, to have uh, lunch with my colleagues, and uh, she says the same that all of you leave the office to have lunch in the nearest and, cafe. 
Uh huh. Okay. But you told me that I usually sit separately. Absolutely. Yeah. She says like this, not no. me. She writes this. No, uh... it's false. Uh, absolutely, because um, uh, I can't imagine to eat alone uh, separately uh, from my colleagues and. Uh, Usually we go out and uh, sit together and uh, have lunch together. Gossiping. Communicate. And gossiping. Yes. You know the word yes. gossiping? Um, um, Spreading rumors. Mm -hmm. Mish mish Spreading. gapler. Mish mish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> yes, I've got it. Spletny, в общем, in Russian, yes. Wow. So you do speak Uzbek. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. And because of this, by the way, she also uh, described, in her letter, she described um, a very, I would say, ugly situation. Um, you have got uh, a male colleague of yours working with you, and he works... Um, uh, his uh, office desk is next to yours. She says that um, all of you work in one large whole room and mm -hmm. uh, each, no each, each occupying uh, his or her own desk, right? And she says yeah. that there is one guy, um, or a colleague of yours working next to you. And mm -hmm. once, uh, once you saw him crying, you came up to him um asking what, what, was, what was wrong about him. And in tears, he uh, put up his face uh, uh, and told you that um, he uh, is a gay and uh, somebody had found out this truth about him. And uh, whenever when you heard it about him, you started to shout at him, you are fucking gay. What the hell are you doing here among us? We are all straight people. Get out of here. Fuck off and never come back here. It was something like this. Um, she says that you did like this. Why, Tanya? Mm. Are, are you so... Mm, mm -hmm. Are you such a kind person that you are ready to get, to, uh, get down somebody uh, who is crying next to you? Regardless of the reason? No, uh, it's not uh, also true about me, but uh, I can imagine this situation if I were in uh, uh, this person's shoes uh, in such situation, I guess that I would uh, support him or her because uh, I strongly believe that this is... Uh, mm, mm, Every person uh, uh, has uh, a choice whom he or she wants to be with and with, yes. So okay. for this reason... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. At this point, let's uh, uh, round off the talk about this because... Uh, I'm afraid that you may um, you may uh, face up to problems. Okay, Tanisha, thank you for the uh, uh, answer. My next question, Tanisha, um, can you say that you are a rich woman? Yes, I can say. No, no, no! Time, don't, uh, don't tell me that uh, that uh, the reason uh, why you are rich is because you are healthy, relatively that you have got uh, three children, a mother, yes. a husband. Yeah. In financial terms, Tanushinka. In uh -huh. financial terms. <laughs> uh, this is also a provocative question for me. Absolutely. If you want to uh, to know. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Before, before you answer my question, I would like uh, the listeners to know, to be aware of the fact that Tanya uh, mm -hmm. has got uh, three cars. Uh, she mm -hmm. personally uh, drives two of them and her poor husband, her, as she says, family partner, she likes to say this like this. Uh, so her family partner drives only one vehicle of the three. And they've mm -hmm. got uh, a garage 
it's an under, it's an underground type of garage and they've got uh, the three cars uh, in the underground garage besides that they have got a village um cottage located next to uh not far away from the city they live in and uh, mm -hmm. each weekend uh, they go there to have rest to have a picnic and the picnic mm -hmm. itself is a very very great feast by feast i mean a, a large a number of uh, delicious food uh, beverage champagne etc uh, it's not cheap to have uh, picnics like this uh weekly so i have just said this uh, uh this information to the listeners of our video and now uh, let's come back to tanusha so tana uh in financial terms do you consider yourself um wealthy uh mm -hmm. yeah uh, the only thing you I don't see. have is a helicopter yes you would like to have a <laughs> helicopter yes you described uh, um beautiful picture about me of uh, about my family and it's but, not groundless uh, it's not groundless tanya frankly speaking uh, of course it depends on the meaning uh, you uh, you told me uh, above uh, i mean that uh, uh, on the one hand uh, i consider myself as a wealthy person because uh, you told before that uh, I am healthy. My family members are healthy. Uh, I have three children. I have uh, my mother uh, uh, near. Uh, yeah, is the boss in the kitchen? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, but on the other hand, uh, if you oh uh, my god, we... oh my god, you mentioned everybody except your family partner. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. yes, of course. Oh, no, that's too late. <laughs> that's too late, Tanya. <laughs> now I've got the yeah. picture. Now I've got the picture. No, 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 I've no. got a chance. I've got a chance. I've got a chance. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. And? No, no. Yes. my spouse is also on the first um, uh -huh. place uh, uh -huh. for me and for my family. Yes. But on the other hand, and if you, if if we uh, talk about my financial uh, side, um, I may uh, say that I am a wealthy person also, because uh, uh, I was lucky uh, to uh, enter to medical institute. Uh, uh, I. Um, have got a good, uh, well-paid job now, and uh, thanks God, everything is okay. Uh, e my salary uh, is e enough to... E my salary, e my salary. Mm. Maybe and my salary, not e my salary. Oh yeah, and my salary, uh, is enough to buy necessary things. I mean, like three cars. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got it. Like three cars. <laughs> uh, very necessary to have. It's absolutely important to have three cars. Yes. Not three, only two. I guess. Oh, come on. I guess uh, the people living in your country will understand you perfectly well. The more, the better. It's kind of uh, investment, yes. Uh, yeah pull pull but, investment uh into your future yes. pull investment what is it what is it pull money wow you can speak uzbek <laughs> great <laughs> okay yeah. thank you thank you now let's proceed to the next question is okay mm -hmm. uh tana please uh what's the role of books in your life in and in particular the role of english books Please give me an extended mm. answer to this question, okay? Oh, uh, first of all, I would like to say that uh, I am not uh, into reading books, and the main reason oh my God. is uh, oh my the God. following: because I don't have enough time to read books at all, uh, a lot. Uh, however, fortunately, my, my daughter is into 
reading books and uh, if we talk about uh, english books of course uh, they um... why did you mention your daughter i'm not asking you about your daughter i'm asking about your reading experience not your daughter because now i'm surrounded uh, a lot of books and i cannot uh, uh, mention my daughter you could have said that reason. all the you have read all the books around you yes you had such a great chance to show off your skills look guys yeah. look guys there are so many books around me and i have read all of them no unfortunately no but my daughter yes but uh i strongly believe that uh, books uh, mm, help people to wider their horizon wider or widen uh, widen their horizon uh, to uh, <clears throat> find out uh, something new for uh, myself and uh, every person and of course uh, they helps uh, they help uh, oh it's so fantastic um, they helps uh -huh. no they help uh, uh, to open uh, not open to um, find uh, questions for some difficult answers. Maybe vice versa to uh, find answers uh, to difficult questions. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, yes. But if you talk about me and uh, my English books, uh, uh, fortunately they have a period uh, in my life recently. Which way? Uh, How's it? Uh, in my room, in my no, daughter's room. I'm asking you how they entered ah, your life. How they? Ah, uh, you know that recently, um, mm, I have started to, to learn English. Mm -hmm. I was lucky, yes, I was lucky to uh, meet in my life my uh, English teacher. Wow. And, uh, wow! Yes, it's true. What is his name? Uh, what is your English teacher's uh, name? My teacher's name is uh, George Green. Wow, uh, really? Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, he makes me um, to... Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, wait, sorry. Sorry, uh, he makes me um, raising a lot of uh, things, uh, including books. Uh, he, in some cases, uh, he makes me buy these English books uh, to uh, pick my level of English. Maybe to uh, bring to, up? To, to bring up, to increase my uh, English level. So, uh, thanks to these books uh, and to my teacher, of course, uh, I think uh, I became more intelligent, more confident. Uh, mm, communicating with the uh, people in english okay and uh, I, I i'm not sure that you remember the exact number of the uh, english books you have read but could you uh, give me an approximate number of the books uh, english books you have read uh if i'm not mistaken um uh, mistaking or mistaken mistaken the average number of these books um, is number, yes, uh, is uh, 30 or 35. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Tell me, please, um, <clears throat> how many English words uh, do, uh, do you think you have learned? Mm. Roughly. 
Mm-hmm. It's as clear as a day. You cannot tell me the exact number of the English uh, of the English mm-hmm. words you know. But anyway, just roughly. Uh, as a I guess. don't think exactly, but I suppose maybe um, one thousand. Of course, more. <laughs> you must be kidding. Yeah. Of course, more. Mm-hmm. You, um, judging by the way you are speaking English, you are likely to to know. Uh, approximately 3,000 um, English words. Okay. Oh. And when you do the reading, uh, do you uh, look up new words in a dictionary? If you if you do, what is the dictionary? And could you show us the dictionary, which you normally use? Yes, I can show this dictionary. Uh, usually I use uh, this one. What is it? This one, and also, more often, I use this one. Little Oxford. And what's the difference between the two dictionaries, Tanya? The first one is uh, English-Russian uh, dictionary. Mm-hmm. The second is uh, only English. Mm. And which of the two you, do you use more often? More often, the second. You mean uh, English-English? Yes, English, English. The English, English because my English. teacher makes me uh, use it uh, more often, mm-hmm. and uh, now I understand that uh, this uh, using uh, this dictionary uh, helps me to improve my English level. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Um, how would you comment uh, on the following situation? Uh, the other day, uh, I had a conversation with another person who wanted to be taught by me. And when who he want came, what? He, who wanted me to teach him English. Mm. Uh, and uh, when he came to my place, uh, as usual, uh, we had a conversation uh, when I fired at him with a, a great number of questions. And uh, uh, one of my questions was whether or not he reads... Um, uh books uh mm-hmm. he said yes and you know the main mm-hmm. reason why i asked him the question was because um while he was speaking to me mm-hmm. i didn't hear uh that he was well educated mm. because mm-hmm. he he uh he was tending to use uh primitive words primitive russian and uzbek words because mm-hmm. uh, we uh, we uh, we spoke um, half Russian, half Uzbek, and uh, um, in both of the languages, uh, he preferred to use uh, very simple constructions and very primitive vocabulary, and mm-hmm. that revealed to me that he wasn't in the habit of reading books. But surprisingly, mm-hmm. surprisingly, he replied that he does reading. He does the reading. Uh, which uh, his answer, frankly speaking, his answer surprised me a lot. And uh, mm. naturally, I asked him what kind of books he, he reads. And he replied that he likes reading um, biography books or books uh, which show how to boost business, how to mm. make a uh, uh, fast buck, how to make fast money, etc., how to mm-hmm. manipulate uh, how to manipulate other people making them do what you want them to do etc in mm-hmm. other words in other words uh he doesn't read uh, classical uh, literature mm-hmm. only these i would say uh modern psychological books they are mm-hmm. uh, these days they are popular with um, modern youth Etc. Do you think that it's a good uh, literature choice uh, to read such books or not? What's your personal opinion on this matter, Tanushinka? Mm, my personal opinion uh, is the following. Uh, of course, I strongly believe that uh, classical books uh, is um, are uh, classical books are uh, more useful for people because uh, they enable uh, Mm -hmm. to uh, to 
find out uh, a lot of uh, beneficial information for every person. Uh, they taught us uh, um, a lot of things. No, I they, mean, they, they um, teach us, not taught. They teach us. Oh yes, yes, they teach us. Yes, and. Uh, Definitely, uh, classical books uh, uh, are more useful mm -hmm. than uh, nowadays uh, modern books. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. So, uh, Tanisha, and uh, my next question is a bit uh, difficult to answer and uh... I want you to think twice before you give me an answer, okay? Uh, don't tell me that you are very friendly. For that reason, you don't have any enemies. Because Shakespeare once told uh, his readers that if somebody has lived uh, their lives having so uh, we just got we uh, we just got uh, disconnected again. So <clears throat> when I say that um, uh, Shakespeare once told uh, 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 told us that if somebody has lived um, uh, their lives having no enemy, so the whole life was empty, can be considered to be mm -hmm. empty. So uh, I hope that your life isn't empty, and you've got some information uh, to discuss, because my question is. Uh, whether or not you have got an enemy or at least somebody who you dislike a lot and why i hope it's not me uh okay um now you are trying to answer this question give me, me uh the factual information and now you're yeah. looking back and uh, trying to identify such a person in your occupation maybe yes. maybe you don't need to um, look for such a person uh, in um, in some distant occupation of yours. Maybe you may find such a person in your nearest occupation. Who knows? Maybe among your uh, neighbors. Maybe you can find such a person among your relatives. Uh, maybe it's, uh, among those who uh, are used to wearing uh, black hats. Uh, uh, who knows? Maybe it's uh, among somebody uh, you see daily. Yeah. You, you must have somebody uh, like this. Yes. Uh, answering your question, uh, I would like to say that uh, um, I strongly believe that, that every person uh, has at least uh, one enemy or not enemy one uh, person wh whom you dislike mm -hmm. uh, and uh, i support that yes i have got one and i consider one person as my uh, enemy i don't know the main reason uh, uh, not uh, i would say that uh, this person always uh, this person is always trying me to mock mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know the main reason why uh, he or she does this uh, but uh, I suppose that maybe um, this connect to envious uh, because uh, you know that nowadays uh, people are very envious and uh, um, maybe because uh, uh, maybe it's uh, connect to the following. I am uh, more successful and intelligent, for example, than cure. And maybe for this reason, she always. Uh, maybe you are more me. beautiful uh, than she is. No. I wouldn't say so. I guess I know who you are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> really? 
absolutely. Is it the one uh, who uh, likes uh, who likes uh, crying? Uh, mm. Yes, it's her. It must be her. I'm I'm pretty sure it's her. She is a, a really one uh, a wonderful uh, woman. And if I'm not mistaken, her uh, the first letter of her first name uh, starts from the uh, Z letter, Z letter. Uh, no, I don't see so. Uh, okay, okay, okay. But I'm pretty sure it's her. Okay. And um, what is your policy towards her? What is your policy to uh, towards her? Anyway, you have to communicate with her, uh, right? Somehow. Or you can... Yuri, uh, just a minute. I can't uh, see you for some reason. But I can see you and I can hear you. Everything is fine. You see me? Hello. Uh, don't worry, Tanya. So I can see you and I can hear you. Just answer. Mm -hmm. So what is your mm -hmm. policy to, uh, to, towards that person? Do you have to communicate with her daily? Do you see her daily? No, uh, I communicate with this person very rarely. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, maybe uh, once a month, uh, because I'm trying to avoid uh, any contacts uh, with her. But why, in this case, are you saying unfortunately and be fortunately? Uh, fortunate, fortunately, yes. Uh, so, um, I try uh, to get rid of her. Do you think that uh, there is no chance uh, of you uh, of uh, her becoming a friend of yours? No chance. I think so because uh, uh, I am a person who, if you uh, if you lost my. Um, Mm. trust yes my trust uh, I will not uh, get on well with uh, these people mm -hmm. okay thank you very much so Tanisha this is the end of your uh, speaking examination thank you very much ну что, Танюшка, а теперь по-русски? Ну-ка, по-русски как? Сейчас бабахнем по-русски. Я, я просто я, я почему-то не вижу сейчас секунду. Мне так некомфортно. Не подождите, я вас вижу, идет запись, поэтому давайте этот самый по существу. Mm -hmm. Я вас вижу, вы по-прежнему прекрасная okay. женщина, в которую я влюблен, которая, к сожалению, mm -hmm. замужем и которая, к сожалению, счастлива в браке. Ну вот. Только я это сказал, и Таня тут же испарилась. Таня, зачем вы на что-то нажимаете? Все. I я... can hear and you. Я такие вещи говорил, что я вас влюблен, но что вы, к сожалению, заняты. И что у меня это неразделенная mm -hmm. любовь и так далее. И что вы счастливы в браке. Я вы взяли и обкакали mm -hmm. это. Ну, прям этот момент такой, Sorry. не знаю, прямо. Видать, судьбоносный, да, момент, Танюшка? Да, да. Судьбоносный. Ты смотри, а. Ну что, пройдемся по вашим ошибкам, Танюшка. Да. Итак, я буду говорить не только про э, минусы, но и про плюсы ваших ответов. Вы использовали достаточно грамотно present perfect. Например, вот recently. И со словом recently вы использовали present perfect по британскому стандарту. Это правильно и хорошо. Дальше вы говорили office worker и неоднократно. Не office worker, а, например, office employee, можно было uh, сказать. Uh, uh -huh. Дальше. Вы сказали, I graduated from medical university institute. Во-первых, не institute, а university, они говорят. И вы же не говорите, когда вы использовали. Нужно было сказать как раз не perfect. I uh -huh. have graduated. Потом была такая фраза uh -huh. вначале. Вы сказали... Я с тех пор, как закончила университет, я не работала в этой области, да? Uh -huh. Так надо было уже использовать тогда. Since I graduated from uh, 
from the university, I haven't worked in this field. Да? Дальше. Yeah. Uh, вы сказали, I have a good husband. Вы пропустили артикль. I have a good husband. Вот. Видать, когда я услышал good husband, меня переклинило. Типа, от бессилия. Ну, ладно. Дальше. Uh, in January the 10th. Ведь перед днями мы используем uh, предлог он, Танюшка, да? Yeah. On January the 10th. I was born on January the 10th. Так, uh, frankly speaking, I'm... Так, uh, я не знаю, как по-английски я написал. Ну ладно, вот. I'm trying... Uh, I'm trying... On... My... Что такое? В общем, там, где вы говорили, потом, когда вы прослушаете заново запись, вот у вас была, была фраза I'm trying <свят> что-то такое. А вы говорите <свят> про то, что вы не сейчас делаете, а делаете вообще. Поэтому нужно было сказать I try. Uh, not to have, может быть, я говорила там close relationship with somebody. With George Green? No. Ну, ну хорошо. Дальше. А вы, не про... вы сделали фонетическую ошибку со словом напитки. Beverage. Ну вот, если бы вы хотя бы так сказали. Дальше. Mm -hmm. а, вы говорите, это было бы неудобно, но очевидно, что нужно было сказать не it's not convenient, а it would, wouldn't be convenient. Mm -hmm. а, дальше. Вы сказали, to my uh, favorite colors. To, uh, two favorite colors of mine. Лучше было бы сказать. Mm -hmm. И mm -hmm. потом можно было использовать конструкцию I find. Например, I find uh, purple color beautiful. Можно было так mm -hmm. сказать. Так, далее вы сказали the yoga. Ну, конечно, просто йога, да? Да. Yeah. Потом, что вы еще сказали? There are several activity. There are several activities. Mm -hmm. Дальше, потом сказали I like very my trainer. Там Оксана, кто у вас по йоге там? Марина. Марина. Марина, ты смотри, а. Так Веру это неправильно стоит? I like somebody very much, можно сказать. Mm -hmm. A lot. Поэтому I like. И потом не трейнер, все-таки лучше, а коуч, да? My yoga coach. Uh -huh. uh, дальше. Mixed conditional вы использовали uh, очень правильно. Это, конечно, не структура uh, уровня elementary, но, тем не менее, вы сумели правильно ее использовать. Uh, не просто чистый conditional, а mixed conditional. Дальше. <coughs> вы сказали, oh, it's provocative question two. Вы снова пропустили a. Mm -hmm. Можно было сказать, it is another provocative question. Дальше. Mm -hmm. Вы сказали exhausting working day. Это хорошо, что вы использовали Pascal one. Exhausting. Потому что многие люди будут, когда говорить exhausting, когда exhausted, вы используете mm -hmm. фразовый глагол done up. I'm done up. Еще раз для слушателей. Как это пишется? Done up? <coughs> exhausting. Верно. Дальше. Но потом вы сказали I'm rested. Mm -hmm. Честно говоря, мне так нельзя? немножечко напрягло. Ну, когда вас... я отдохнувшая. Я, я понял. Когда, получается, вас отдохнули. А -а -а. Вас отдохнули. Поэтому лучше все-таки сказать uh, I have had a rest. Или after I... Ну, на крайняк, present simple. After I have a rest, I mm -hmm. start doing something else. Но лучше в перфекте. After I have had a rest. Или же after I have rested. Дальше mm -hmm. вы сказали, it was an unforgettable trip. Вы пропустили артикль N. An unforgettable trip. Потом вы сказали, secondly reason. А должно yeah. быть, the second Sec reason. Далее поехали. Вы сказали, Red Sea. Но, конечно, перед морями мы ставим the Red Sea. А вы смотрите, да? Перед морями и океанами uh, мы ставим... Uh, этот артикль Б, да, Танюшка? Да. А перед реками? Нет. А вот и да. И перед реками мы да? ставим. Да, Танюшка. А перед озерами, Таня? Вот, по-моему, перед озерами мы не ставим. Верно. Перед озером мы не ставим. Да. Но перед группой озер 
Мы поставим. Дальше. Вы сказали. This is amazing experience. Наверное, this is an amazing experience. Да? Да. Дальше сказали. I would like to mention. Вот прям вообще меня резануло uh, по моим непарным органам. Uh, я бы сказал, что I would like Искусство? to mention. Да, представляете? Oh, ой, ужас, да. позор. Потом, меня чуть-чуть смутило botanical garden. The botanical garden. Uh, я не совсем, я сейчас не уверен, по-моему, все-таки botanic. Посмотрите, uh -huh. пожалуйста, в своем словаре прямо сейчас. Есть ли слово botanical? Uh -huh. Прям мне тоже самому интересно стало. Покажите, как вы работаете со словарем. Конечно. Yes, есть. Да, точно есть. Есть. Yes. Смотри, значит, значит, плюс. Значит, плюс. Доказала. Видите, показали, что вы умеете работать с словарем, да, по крайней мере, Танюшка? Да. Потом, вы правильно использовали герундий go, с глаголом go, потому что мы знаем, что после go часто используют герундий. Например, Танюша? Go swimming, go jogging. Go shopping, например, да? Go shopping, yes. И также do shopping, да, Танюшка? Нет, do the shopping. Ах ты ж какая, а? Do the gardening. Ты смотри, а? Правильно, правильно. То есть после go swimming, допустим, мы используем... что Swimming это что, passport one? Go swimming. Uh, нет, это gerund. Правильно, это gerund. А... Ну, тогда do, допустим, the shopping, это тоже Джерон, да? Do the shopping. Да. А что, у нас перед герундиями ставится артикли, Танюшка? Нет, нет. Ах ты, вот ты и попалась, называется. Конечно, да, нет. Да, да. Uh, do the shopping, uh, shopping, в данном случае, это уже не герундия. Это так называемое отглагольное существительное. Спасибо, Танюша. Дальше. Вы использовали комплекс object. Want me to spend. Mm -hmm. Дальше. Но потом вы сказали вот такое. A very a communicative person. I am a very a communicative person. Скажите, в порядке? A very. Конечно. Нет, нет, конечно. конечно. A very. Потом вы, могли, вы должны были использовать, конечно, фразу verb turn down. Когда, как говорится turn down, Танюшка? Ну, no, uh, refuse. Верно. Это refuse college, да, вот так говорят. Я заметил, когда мои родственники из э, Украины приезжали в Ташкент, uh -huh. я uh -huh. им показывал, вот, вот сам-то плохо знаю, да, этот язык. Uh -huh. вот, и вот мы путешествовали там по Ташкенту, а они тоже лингвисты. Uh -huh. И потом они говорят, яка дивна узбекская мова, как какой удивительный узбекский язык. Я говорю, почему? Так его же учить не треба, его же учить не надо. Смысла не надо. Они, знаете, что говорят? Ну, а что же? И они говорят, лямпочки, карточки, автобус, билет, там самолет, там девушка хон. Вот. И они это прямо с таким же акцентом, они потому что лингвисты очень крутые. Вот вы видите, вот такая вот, такой взгляд, лингвистический взгляд со стороны. А дальше. It's not... Вот вы сказали, it's not also true about me. Может, вы сами справитесь, Танюшка? It's a truth. It's not uh, also the truth about me. Нет, дело не в этом. У вас not и also вместе быть не могут. Когда у нас ah. not, у нас either. It's not true about me either. Mm. Далее, вы сказали, every person. Как бы я ни пытался с вас вытравить это every person, но никак у меня это не получается, да, Танюшка? Everybody вообще-то, а не every person. Mm -hmm. Как я могла? Как я могла? Подумал Танюша. Дальше. You described a wonderful picture, вы сказали. Но я же только что это сделал, вообще не с вами. Вот. Поэтому you have described. Yes. Дальше вы сказали. My financial side of the matter. Наверное, uh, the financial side of the matter. Потом mm -hmm. сказали. Enter to a medical institute. Ну, во-первых, опять-таки, не institute, а university. И после enter мы никогда не используем предвок to. 
Mm. Enter the university. Мы говорим. Mm -hmm. а, дальше. Что это вот тут сказали? Так, я это написал и зачеркнул. Сейчас я пытаюсь разобраться. Что-то с моей сэмовой. Не могу разобрать. Ну, хорошо, ладно. Потом вы говорите. <coughs> I'm surrounded a lot of books. I'm surrounded with a lot of books. Uh. Дальше. He makes me too. Но потом вы все-таки, когда вы пукнули в лужу, вы вспомнили, да? После того, вы... <coughs> что после make to используется. Не используется. А, не используется. Нет, ни в, коле, ни в коем случае. Ты ж смотри, а. Ты ж смотри, какая умная. Дальше вы сказали, I became more confident. А что, вы когда-то стали confident, а сейчас, может быть, вы уже не такая уже и confident? Нет, present perfect надо было использовать. Да, потому что вы сейчас more confident, поэтому I have become more confident. Потом mm -hmm. вы сказали, the average number of English books which I have read. А почему average? Не среднее число букв, книг, а, наверное, Примерное число. The approximate number of English books. Mm. Мне понравилось, что вы смогли использовать present continuous для того, чтобы показать негативную эмоцию. Это в конце вашего ответа было. Mm -hmm. Потому что очень многие э, спикеры забывают. Внимание, послушайте, те, кто слушает меня сейчас и, и нашу Танюшку, героиню нашего э, сери мини-сериала английского. Да? Вы же стали уже героиней Танюша мини-сериала. Mm -hmm. Так вот, present continuous используется не только, чтобы показать, что сейчас происходит или что вот-вот произойдет, а также показ... выразить негативную эмоцию. Можете пример привести, Танюшка? Uh, ну, например, uh, я захожу на кухню. И там Татьяна Ивановна. Допустим, вот. мой муж. <laughs> Нет, а, заходит мой муж на кухню, и моя мама готовит, допустим, какую-то еду. А так как она, как я сказала, isn't good at cooking at all, мой муж э, в ярости говорит, ну, как бы, вы опять готовите этот ужасный борщ, можно так так она сказать. Же... Нет, неправильно. Она же сейчас его готовит. Правильно? Она же сейчас его готовит. А... Так что present continuous, в общем-то, здесь вполне mm -hmm. себе по правилам. Ну, тогда она приготовила этот борщ. Ну, тогда так это... же можно? Нет. Значит, вы не поняли это правило, Танюшка. Итак, послушайте, пожалуйста. А, нет, нет. А, все. А... Очень часто мы это время путаем с present simple, потому что нас путают такие слова, они часто бывают в предложениях, как often или always. Constantly. Например, он может сказать Constantly, да. Ты постоянно готовишь ужасную еду, допустим. Он может да. зайти и сказать. Татьяна Ивановна, my mother-in-law, you are constantly cooking terrible food. Да. Он может сказать. Да, Он хотя говорит. казалось бы, что это слово constantly должно нас направить в сторону present simple. Но так как здесь идет негативные, идут негативные эмоции... Да все это фигня, Танюшка, все это фигня. Я сейчас представляю то есть, эту... I'm just picturing the situation which may happen in your, uh, in your kitchen when your husband, your spouse uh, says such things to uh, his mother-in-law and what she may do. She calmly, she calmly comes up to your husband holding a large knife in her hand. <laughs> And very, yeah, calm, but, but, but... very calmly mm -hmm. saying no word out, she does something to mm -hmm. sort out the problem, to sort out the shouting problem. Oh, не дай бог, конечно, да, Танюшка? Дальше. Нет, нет, нет. Он не позволяет себе такого. Серьезно? Он может мне это сказать. А, -а, -а ну хорошо. А не другого, но не в лицо. Ну хорошо. Вы еще скажите, что он ее маму называет. Я прям поверю в это. Нет. Нет. <laughs> Дальше. Вы сказали, this connected uh, uh, this connect uh, with Таня. Говорят uh, так. To. This is connected to. 
mm -hmm. uh, when your passive voice is called Zaucha, it can be explained by. Mm -hmm. Это может быть объяснение. И uh, envy, если вы сказали, это прилагательное, осуществительное envy. Ага. Ну, я имела в виду, что завистливый Нет, вы сказали, это может быть объяснено ее uh, завистью, вы сказали. А -а -а. Танюшка, все же протоколируется на видео. Вот. Но uh, очень хорошо вы используете фразу глагол get on well with the Сандар. Это плюс. Итак, я... Ну, мне нужно взять тайм-аут, чтобы почитать ваш балл по спикингу с учетом тех ошибок и плюсов, которые я только что обозначил. Но примерно я скажу, что на уровне элементарии, если, то с учетом ваших ошибок, примерно ваш балл... Какой проходной балл, Танюшка? 56. 84? А, 56. 56. 56. А, 56. Ну, я, я примерно, уже примерно, пока вы говорили, уже к концу нашего, вашего, точнее, экзамена, я уже примерно рассчитал. Просто сейчас, если будет реализация, это будет уже э, с точностью до десятых. Э, Где-то, э, ну, на 88 баллов вы наговорили. Спасибо большое. Так не имеешь спасибо, Богу спасибо. А потом само себе. Я вас поздравляю, Танюшка. Спасибо. Значит, у вас остался последний этап экзамена. Это какой? Сами что? Writing. Ой, сколько удивления. Конечно, Танюшка. Writing. Вы даже не представляли, да, что writing, оказывается, тоже будут проверять. Ой, что ты моя солнышко. Окей. Okay. Танюшенька, отдыхайте. Я знаю, что вам нужно бежать на работу. Вот, по дороге заскочить на Kitchen и отдать дань уважения Kitchen Boss. Вот. Yeah. Значит, счастливо. Спасибо большое еще раз. Все, пока.